morning. The 40th annual Pigs in Heat Hockey Charity Game kicks off tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, putting Marquette <laughs> County firefighters and police officers against each other for a great cause. TV6's Michael Sobeck joins us live from inside Lakeview Arena to find out how the money from the hockey game will support Marquette families displaced by fire. Good morning again, Michael. Good morning again, ladies. I have Jim Finkbeiner with the Marquette City Police, and I have Kurt Hillier with the Marquette Fire Department. And these guys are going to be going against each other tomorrow in a 40th annual hockey game. How are you guys feeling about it? How are you, guys, how are you feeling about it? Good. Good? Good. Yeah. yeah. What about you? It's, it's time. <laughs> it's it's time, time to play some hockey. Now, if I remember, you said that the fire department won last year. They did win last they year. They did. Are we, you... we, we, we let them have a win once in a while is what I always like to say. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around, but no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. they won last year. We'll give them, we'll give them props. They had, a, they, had a, they had to go recruiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you had to go recruiting. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job last year. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but we'll see what happens this year. You know, I had to go recruiting this year. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, now, this is a big rivalry game. Now, you guys are... Guys, don't get to see each other out and out at work very often. It's, if you do, it's never a really fun environment. So, how is this a good bonding moment between the two departments? Well, I, I guess it's uh, one of the things is exactly we don't get uh, to spend a lot of time, even though the, the time that we do spend together a lot of times is on an accident scene or a fire or something like that. And and that's where you know our, our jobs kind of intertwine. Um, but we do that quite often. Um, this is just an opportunity to meet with people uh, in a similar profession uh, that we don't get to see all the time. And the other thing is that this is involves all the departments all over Market County, not just the city. Uh, I get to see Kurt once in a while here, but a lot of times I don't get to see guys from other departments. Um, it's just a way to you know get together. Um, we have that camaraderie, even though we are in different professions, but we, we work together a lot. Um, but the other piece of this is to come together for a really good cause. Absolutely. No, Kurt, this this is something that benefits people of the Marquette County that are displaced by fires and have to unfortunately experience those kinds of tragedies. This is a big charity for you guys. How successful has this been in the last couple of years? Oh, hugely successful. Um, I think we've been able to raise half a million plus. plus and we've given out pretty close to that same amount. So the game itself is, has been a huge fundraiser for that. It's what keeps it going. We didn't have a game the one year because of COVID, and the fund actually went into the red. So the game is a huge importance of keeping that fund up and running and being able to help those people. So Absolutely. Now, we'll touch on it a little bit coming up the next time, but how, how much are tickets for people to get in? One dollar. Since 1984, they've only been a dollar, so it's a donation to the fund. So, yeah, it's always been one dollar, and you can get them the day of the game here or from any police or fireman that you know. So. Absolutely. It's definitely something that, especially for hockey fans that are excited to, to come and check it out and see a fun rivalry. So next, coming up in the next segment, we're actually going to have one of these guys uh, tell us, you know, how you can get those tickets, when puck drop is, and definitely look out for that. And maybe teach me how to do a slap shot, something in hockey, because I've never played hockey in my life. So we'll see how that goes. So definitely stick around, because that'll be fun. That's coming up in a few minutes. Back to you, ladies. All right, yeah, you're definitely learning from some of the best there. Thank you so much, Michael. All right, Jennifer, this is just a week to kind of stay aware because uh, we're going to have that snow.